my wife ishq hi palle can i say this again my wife ishq hi disda jehde ishq ch challe i feel like i was a child till morning and now i've grown up suddenly my wife I am Vishal Punjabi and I shoot the most beautiful wedding videos in the world. Whether it's the Ambani's or whether it's Deepika Padukone or whether it's Bipasha Basu or whether it's Virata Nushka or whether it's Priya or whether it's um Sneha or whether it's anybody that we've shot for um each person would get a memory worth their wedding My childhood dream was to work in films. I always wanted to work in movies. I worked with Shah Rukh um from 2001 to 2010 and that's the only company I've ever actually worked with and everything I've learned from film and everything I've learned from advertising I learned working there. I started working with Santosh Sivan on his first film with me which was Ashoka. um i worked with uh, farah khan on her first film and the beauty about working with directors on their first films is you get to learn a lot from them and with all of that experience i gained um i decided to start the wedding film at 10 years later i was getting married and i really couldn't afford to get a videographer for my wedding at that point i decided to shoot it myself with some help of my friends who are cinematographers as well If you could nobody else could shoot it the way I could and nobody would understand what it means the way I would that's what I did and I made a little film and I cut it and I put it online soon after a friend of mine was getting married and I was writing a screenplay and I thought it would be really nice to shoot their wedding I spoke to the bride and groom I spoke to her parents I spoke to his parents they ended up saying such beautiful things that I ended up using it in their video that I gave them as a gift the the experience of 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 gratitude that I got from that small film was very engaging no matter who you are there's huge appreciation for the kind of work we do I had the fortune of working with Abhijit Datta on my first film. The reason why it's so beautiful is because of his cinematography as well. He is a fashion photographer and a Bollywood photographer and he's really accomplished in what he does. But he decided to drop everything and just come and help me out because I was his friend. And because he did that, we started something that has grown into this now. Now we have a team of about 60 people in total. We work with the best team and we try and work with the best team for every wedding, not just celebrity weddings. There is a there is the added pressure of a celebrity wedding because in case they decide to release it it's going to be viewed by so many more people and it's going to be critiqued by so many more people. With celebrity weddings the harder part is keeping your mouth shut up until the event. Um sometimes you really want to say it but you can't or sometimes you're really excited. Um so that's fun. The other the other, the the hard part about celebrity weddings is the is is the post production and the secrecy that goes behind it and the privacy we have to entail while making those films so that nobody else gets to watch them but the couple. There have been celebrity weddings we've had to say no to because they booked us too late and we're not available at the time. The process of shooting every wedding is the same whether it's a celebrity wedding or a bride. I guess every bride or every groom is a celebrity in their own right on the day of their wedding. The team selection for each film whether it's a celebrity wedding or not depends a lot on where the wedding is happening, whether the person can travel to that place and whether can, the, the 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 crew can speak a language that would help us with that family. I didn't know I was shooting Virat and Anushka's wedding before I shot their wedding. It was all kept hush. We flew in a day before the wedding like we always do and which is when we saw the location and met the couple. We had to keep the crew really small because it was a small wedding. There were a small number of guests so we can't have more than 2 or 3 people shooting the wedding. With that couple specifically, I think there was a lot of Sufi love that you end up seeing eternal love. You could see it in their pictures as well that they put out that it was very present and there was a certain light um which is why we chose to use a sufi song which is why we chose to um present it in that way and which is why that bird flew the way it did
there's a huge demand for the music that we create now because of um, them releasing a, a clip of a song that I made for them in their video. इश्क ही दिस जेड़े इश्क च झले Well, I've been a big fan of Harshdeep Kaur and um, I suggested her name because she sung two or three songs that I've worked on in the past on and she's just a beautiful person and I asked her if she'd come and sing that song for me and she very graciously said yes and after that she sung four more songs for me. I guess with each couple you'd want them to experience the wedding they want the way they want to experience it. We just capture it. The idea is not to make them act in any way or not to make them stand in a certain way. The idea is to make them comfortable enough to have you around them and not make them feel like they are being shot all the time or they are being criticized or, or scrutinized. You don't want to get in anyone's way but you want to make them comfortable and you need to be everywhere as well at the same time. There's always a cinematographer with the bride, there's always a cinematographer with the groom, there's always a cinematographer with the space, taking a step back and looking at everything else around. And that's how we always try and break down our crew so that we don't miss a moment with each or either one of them. The key is to find the most expressive people, engage with them, um, find out stories about them, understand why they're there and what relationship they have with the people you're, you're filming for, so that you are ready and you're ready to understand and know when they're going to do something. The smallest number of people we've had a team is one. And the largest number of people we've had a team is 35. But each now again, both of them, the approaches are very different. Then no two are the same. You have in one you've got cranes and drones and you've got multiple cameras on stages and platforms from the entrance all the way to the stage. Here it's three intimate cameras moving around one after the other in places where they need to be without being seen. We always allow the couple to watch the film once, go through it, see if there's something missing or something they're not happy with. Because it's a memory for life, so you want to make sure that before we finalize the film, everything is the way they sh it, it should be. And that process is very fulfilling as well for them because they finally get something that they want and they're happy to share. See, Bollywood song would go out of date in five years. If you listen to Chaya Chaya now, as fun as it is, you wouldn't want to dance on that to your Sankeet. You'd want to do something else. And then your wedding film gets dated because the song's old. And when your kids end up watching it, that song will be prehistoric. It inspires me to cut something nicer um, and something different than what has already been cut before. It helps bring you back to that time when you hear a sound sometimes. It's almost like smells. When you smell something from your childhood, it reminds you of that time. Music is very similar. That song, chances are, on your 25th anniversary, if you dance with your wife or you dance with your husband, chances are you'll dance to that song. Ruvi teri, main vi tera, rabba dila vich tera hi basera. I create lyrics, we write lyrics, we have lyricists we work with, we compose music um, and we put this all together. When Ayan approached me, he wanted to have the wedding filmer feel in, in it, which is very real and very, yet very cinematic. And that's the approach he wanted for their wedding. While shooting weddings, I end up shooting people doing strange things, which, which you wouldn't normally think of in real life. And they're very, very difficult to script because each one's a character trait in someone. Like there's a daddy who opened a champagne bottle and her hands got wet. And instead of drying her hands, she decided to maro Pooja ka cheetah on everyone. And so I go there and I work with the actors and I try and catch these candid moments like girls giggling before the camera is taken and the photographer not taking the picture properly or someone falling into the pool when they're drunk or small elements like that is what we try to. And then obviously with treatment as well, we work with time lapses and things like that, which I also use a lot more in my wedding films. With weddings comes love and with love comes romance. And then I get pulled in to do romantic songs as well. So I did one for the Zoya Factor where we used underwater techniques and really slow motion cameras. And then even TV shows would get us to come and do opening title sequences for them or give them reference material so they can help, they'll help them write because they end up seeing character traits and they, get, they end up seeing 
um, how families interact with each other during the wedding and then from there they get ideas and then they end up exploiting the scripts and making some beautiful work from there. I'm glad I brought about a change in the wedding space. Before I came in, there was the one video wala with the shotgun light, the wire hanging, used to wear his chaddis. Every time he's bent, you could see his bum crack. What we managed to do is bring in a certain ethic into wedding filmmaking, to treat them with respect, to dress well for the event, to shoot with the right technology. It's very hard to be able to imitate what we do because we can't imitate what we do because each family is different. It's not about the light or the camera angle, it's about the human emotion.